You're interested in that kind of stuff, right? Well, um, uh... Then I'll teach you how. Don't worry. I won't do anything to hurt you. I'm just going to do something very nice to you. Help? You're wondering how someone as introverted and dull as me ended up lying under such a pretty girl. <laughs> well, it all started some time ago. Uh, uh. <clears throat> My name is Keske Ida. I'm just about your stereotypical college student, if a little on the dull side. I work part-time at a convenience store to fill in the gaps between my studies and to gain work experience for my future career. I chose to work here partly because it was close to my home, but mostly... What's up, Keisuke? Hi, Kurumi-senpai! That's my workplace senpai, Kurumi Ito. She's the main reason why I chose to work at this convenience store. It's where I met and fell hopelessly in love with her. At first I was only drawn towards her outward appearance, but ever since I've gotten to know her, I've been increasingly attracted to her personality as well. When I first started working here, I had no idea what I was doing. That's when Kurumi-senpai gave me a hand. She stubbornly refused to give up on teaching me no matter how much I messed up. She was pretty, cute, clever, and kind. Kurumi-senpai really was the whole package. It's no wonder that I like her so much, but unfortunately, she doesn't seem to think of me like that at all. You were yawning just then, weren't you? I saw you. I'm sorry, I tried to keep it in, but... Didn't you sleep properly last night? There was a movie I wanted to watch streaming on TV. It was midnight before I knew it. So, you like movies, huh? I love them. That's why I couldn't help staying up late less... Uh, <sighs> You're yawning again. Sorry. For goodness sakes, don't let it happen again, alright? But if you're really sleep deprived, maybe you should take your break a little early. <sighs> I'm fine. You needn't go to any trouble for me. I brought this on myself anyway. Really? You don't have to. Oh, uh, I see. Huh? What do you mean? You don't want to be all by yourself, am I right? What? Uh, no, no, it's not like that. I'm fine and everything, I swear. All right, all right. You didn't have to get so flustered. Then how about I take my break with you? I'll let you put your head on my lap and I'll pet you until you're sound asleep. Like this. There's a good boy. You don't have to do that. I really don't mind being alone. You sure? You're mocking me, aren't you, Kurumi-senpai? Oops, you got me. Aw, oh, cut it out, senpai! Jeez. <laughs> sorry, sorry. You really are adorable. I'm pretty sure Kurumi-senpai thinks of me as a little brother or something. Even the other day... What? You can't eat green peppers? Seriously? <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Well, it's bitter. And it tastes bad. You can't eat bitter vegetables? You have a childish palate, Keisuke. I guess. I like hamburger steaks, rice omelets, Mostly stuff you can find in a kid's menu. That is so cute. Maybe I'll buy you lunch later. How about a happy meal? Please, stop making fun of me. You're enjoying it too much, senpai. That's because you're too cute. <sighs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. She keeps finding everything I do cute. It's not like I don't enjoy it or anything, but it sometimes feels a bit degrading. Hey, Keske. Keske, are you listening? Oh, um, I beg your pardon? <gasps> Did you hear what I just said? Sorry, I just zoned out for a moment. 
I knew it. You're sleepy after all. I'll take care of this. Go and rest. B but No buts. You better listen to your elders or else. Well, if you insist. There. That's a good boy. Yep. She definitely sees me as her little brother, all right. <sighs> I have to stop her from treating me as a kid somehow. There must be something I can do to make her see me as a man. But what can I do? It's hopeless. I can't think of anything. I'll ask my sister. She'll know what to do. Ah! Uh, try buying some rubbers? Is she serious? How is that going to change anything? Is that going to make her think I'm well prepared or something? But maybe she'll just think I'm gross. I have no idea. I may have confided in the wrong person. Still, she does have more experience than me. And I guess I have nothing to lose anyway. After work. This is it. Ugh. It's kind of embarrassing since I don't intend to even use it. I think it's still Senpai's shift. Excuse me. I'd like to buy this. Hey, Keske. Are you going home already? Uh-huh? Uh, are you sure? You're going to buy this? That's right. I'm buying this. Oh, uh, right. Sure, sure. You're buying this. Uh, okay. As a man, it's good manners to be prepared. You, you never know. Uh, well then, I'll be seeing you. I did it! <laughs> Senpai looks so surprised, but she'll have to see me differently now, right? If it turns out I've offended her, I'll give up. A few days passed. Hey, Kiske, you like movies, right? Uh-huh. I even do movie theater marathons sometimes. One of my friends gave me tickets to that movie everyone's talking about. And since I have two, I was wondering if you'd be interested. Really? Sure, if you want. I'd love to! <laughs> okay, then let's go this weekend. Great! That weekend... That was amazing! I never would have guessed that stray line was foreshadowing such a finale. I didn't really get all of it, though. I'd like to see it again. Then let's watch it together again. You'd watch it with me twice? If you want to, that is. Of course I do! It would be great if we could watch it again together. Thank you so much, Senpai. <laughs> I'm glad to be of help. By the way, you said you do movie theater marathons, right? Do you usually go alone? Oh, no. I usually go with someone else. Uh, uh, someone else? Uh, oh, I see. She loves movies, too, so she often invites me to go with her. My sister's a movie nerd, just like me, so it's fun watching them together and trying to guess the endings. Oh, it's a she! Are you guys close? I guess we do get along with each other. Close, huh? We do seem to get along better than some other siblings that I know. I often confide in her when I need help, too. Are you going out with her? Huh? Going out? No way! Uh, oh, but you like her, right? Like her? I guess so. She's very important to me. I see! But, but I don't care. Kiske and I are more. Kurumi Senpai? What's wrong? Uh, nothing. Oh, since it's our second time together, how about we go somewhere else, too? That sounds great. I'd love to spend more time with you, Kurumi Senpai. Great. Then let's do this again sometime. For sure. Since that day, we started to hang out more and more often. The more time I spent with her, the more I fell for her. At the same time, I slightly regretted giving in to my petty pride and buying the rubbers in front of her. Hopefully it hasn't had a negative impact on the way she sees me. I really shouldn't have done it. One day, during my lunch break at work... By the way, your birthday's next month, isn't it? You remembered! Of course! If it's okay with you, 
Can I spend your birthday with you? I'd like to take you out someplace. You would? If it's okay with you, I mean. Uh, sure, sure. I'm totally fine with it. I'd love to spend the day with you. I'm glad you think so. Now, about where we're going. How do you feel about going to the amusement park? You get to really have fun on your birthday. Great idea! I love it! Then it's decided. Yep. Talking to her about which park to go to, what rides to go on, what to eat, and so on. To me, every single moment I spent with her felt precious. Time slipped by all too quickly, until it was a week from Senpai's birthday before I knew it. That day after work, I was going home with Senpai. I can't wait for my birthday. I'm thinking of reserving a birthday cake at the restaurant in the park. Do you have any likes or dislikes? You're reserving a cake for me? Well, it wouldn't be much of a birthday without a birthday cake, would it? Keisuke, you're great! Thank you! It's going to be the best birthday ever! <laughs> it's nothing... Huh? It's starting to rain. And it's getting heavier. It doesn't look like it'll be stopping anytime soon. Why don't you come over to my place? It's pretty close by, and if you get soaked, you might catch a cold. I think you're right. Okay, then. Then let's pick up the pace. At this rate, we'll be soaked to the core by the time we get home. Right. Senpai! Well, oh. Uh... Are you alright? <laughs> uh, I totally slipped. Can you stand? I'll be all... Oh, oh. Careful. Mm -mm. I think I twisted my ankle. Sorry, I don't think I can walk. Crew me, senpai. Please, excuse me. Huh? Huh? <laughs> what are you doing? You said you couldn't walk, right? So I thought this would be quicker. Uh, so you're just picking me up in your arms? Shall I set you down? I thought it would be less uncomfortable than a fireman's carry. That's true, but it's a bit embarrassing. <laughs> You're cute when you get flustered, senpai. C -c 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 cute you. I'm sorry. I'll try not to drop you. So please bear with me for a bit longer. Uh, thanks for lending me your shirt. No problem. I'm sorry it's a bit big for you. Well, it's yours, so it's fine. Plus, I'm thankful you lent it to me. Senpai, I made some hot chocolate. If you want some, it'll warm you up. Thank you for everything. Huh? The cups... they're a pair? That's right. Cute, right? I bought them when I went to the movies with my sister. Come to think of it, there are two toothbrushes, too. Right. She often comes over, so she just keeps one over here now. She often comes over. Keisuke. What is it? Oh, what are you doing, Kurumi-senpai? You just pushed me down all of a sudden. This kind of joke isn't like you, senpai, so will you just... I'm not joking around. Senpai? Am I not good enough for you, Keisuke? Huh? Senpai, what's going on? What do you mean, not good enough for... I've been watching you and only you ever since we first met at work. I thought you were a cute boy. No one else can compete with my feelings for you. So, Keisuke, look at me, not her. Please, look at me. I'll do anything if it's for you. Hold on, what are you doing? You're not acting like yourself. I guess... I'm not good enough after all. I knew I couldn't win against her, but... Senpai? I'm sorry for everything. I hope you'll be happy with her. Uh, wait, uh, Senpai? She laughed. What was that all about? Afterwards, I tried contacting her, but there was no reply. I thought maybe I'd see her at work, but I was wrong. Even on the days I thought we had shifts together, she either swapped them or moved them to a different date. When I just happened to catch a glimpse of her, 
she ran away from me at full speed. Kurumi Senpai's birthday was coming up, and she still continued to avoid me. If it goes on like this, I won't get to speak with her ever. I can't let that happen! I was so desperate to talk to her, I waited for her after she finished work. Senpai! Keisuke? I'm sorry for ambushing you, but there was no other way I could get you to talk to me. Uh, there's nothing to talk about. Wait, please, don't leave! No, let me go! Why do you keep avoiding me? B because... Because I can't win. It's too painful to be with you. Win? Painful? What do you mean? You said you liked someone, though you weren't going out with her. But you had matching cups, and her toothbrush was at your place! And she comes over! I can't compete with that! Even though I like you so much! Wait! You're making a mistake! The person I like is you, Kurumi-senpai! Huh? What? But you? The mug and the toothbrush are both my sisters! She even has a boyfriend! They're totally in love! What? So... so it was all a misunderstanding. Senpai! I yes I like you, Kurumi Senpai. I've liked you for a long time, so please stop avoiding me. Please be my girlfriend. I will, gladly. With the air cleared between us, we became a real couple. I introduced her to my sister, and now they're getting along like a house on fire. As time passed, Senpai's birthday finally came up. It's beautiful! You can see so far. By the way, what did you do with those rubbers? They're in my drawer at home. Hmm... Promise me you won't use them with anyone but me? That goes without saying. You're the only one for me. <laughs> okay then. I really like you, Keisuke. Kyotaro, what's for lunch today? I was thinking about making yakisoba. Yay! My name's Kyotaro Shirakawa, and I'm living together with a seven-year-old girl. From the outside, I might just look like a single father, but Honoka Shirakawa and I aren't father and daughter. In order to explain the reason why we're living together, even though she's not my daughter, I'll have to go back in time to two years ago. Two years ago? Three months after graduating college and getting a real job, I was forced to face how harsh reality was. My parents and my older sister's family went on an onsen trip that day. I couldn't join them because I had work. But they hit a truck on the way, and everyone other than Honoka, who miraculously survived, died. Mom. Dad. Even my sister and brother-in-law. What kind of joke is this? <laughs> After that, I decided to take in Honoka, who is left all on her own now. Kyotaro, where are mommy and daddy? Your mom and dad are... <laughs> Kyotaro, what's wrong? D don't cry. I had lost everyone important to me at once. And Honoka was still young, so it took a while for both of us to fully grasp the situation. But I was saved by Honoka's bright smiles. After a few months, we were living together like a normal family. I adopted Honoka after that. But I didn't ask her to call me dad, because I didn't want her to forget about my sister or brother-in-law. Honoka calls me Kyotaro, just like my sister did. So some people look at us strangely. We try not to care too much, though. Honoka, let's clean after we eat, okay? Yeah, I'm going to help. All right, thank you. She grew up to be such a good girl. I guess that's expected since my sister and brother-in-law were good parents. After that, we decided to clean the room that was turned into a storage closet. Kyotaro, does this piano work? Hmm, I'm not sure. No one's used it for many years. We might need to get it tuned. Well, what's tuned? Um, tuning? Uh, when instruments get old, 
They stop playing the proper sound, so you get it fixed by tuning. If I remember correctly, tuning costs a lot of money. It takes up a lot of space, and I don't use it either. Maybe we should just get rid of it? But this is the piano that Dad bought my sister when she was little. Hey, Honoka, do you want to try playing it? Yeah, I do! Jotaro, teach me how! Okay, but I can only play easy nursery rhymes. For an hour after that, Honoka and I played the piano together. Man, if my sister was alive, she probably would have taught Honoka how to play the piano like this. Jotaro, what's wrong? Did something bad happen? No, not at all. Hey, Honoka, you want to try taking piano lessons? Yeah, I do! There's an extent to how much I can teach her, so I guess it's better to hire a teacher. After that, I got a professional to tune the piano and looked for a piano teacher. Oh, this looks good. We live close to a music university, so we get flyers like this often. I called up the number written on the flyer that was inside my post box. My name is Maki Nanase. I'm a student at the music university. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. My name is Kyotaro Shirakawa. And I'm Honoka Shiokawa. Okay, Honoka-chan. You can call me whatever you want. Okay, I'll call you Maki-chan then. Sure, sounds good. Shirakawa-san, today is just a trial run. So please, take a look at our lessons today and see whether you want to continue having me teach. Okay, I understand. She seems like a nice person, so I think it'll turn out alright. Maki-chan, are you good at playing the piano? Yeah, I think I'm good enough to be able to teach you, at least. I've been playing since I was about your age. Really? Hey, hey, play something! Honoka, don't be rude to your teacher. It's not a problem at all. What do you want me to play, Honoka-chan? Hmm, the theme song for Marika. I'm sorry, I don't think I know that song. Do you think you can wait for a little? Yeah, okay! What? Are you going to practice it now? Oh no, it'll be quick since I'm just going to listen to it. The piano teacher silently listened to the song. Honoka-chan, I'm ready to play it. Okay. What? Can she really play it just by listening to the song once? The piano teacher effortlessly played the song she had just first heard only seconds ago. Maki-chan, you're so cool! That's crazy! You can play by ear just by listening to the song once? Yes, it's not that hard after you get the hang of it. Wow! Can I do that if I learn how to play the piano? Yup, you totally can. Okay, do you think I can do it after a month? Honoka, didn't your teacher just say she's been playing since she was a little girl? She worked super hard to be able to do that, so you can't say it like it's easy. You're right. I'm sorry, Maki-chan. Don't worry about it. I might take a little bit of time, but you should be able to do the same thing if you work hard enough. Okay, I'm going to work so I can be like you, Maki-chan. Alright then. Shall we get practicing? Yeah. After that, I watched as the two girls practiced on the piano. Honoka looks like she's having a lot of fun. The teacher did say it was a trial lesson, but I feel like she's a good match for Honoka. Honka-chan, let's end today's lesson here. Okay, I had so much fun! I see, I'm glad. Nanase-san, Honoka seemed like she had fun with you. So we'd like to continue the lessons if you're up for it. Of course, I'd love to. And thank you for earlier. Huh? For what? When you said that you can't make the teacher's hard work sound easy. Oh, about that. I think that was just common sense. Not at all. People have told me that they're jealous of my talent without considering that I work hard for what I have. They say I was just born with the ability to play, so I was happy that you said that. I see. I'm glad then. I yes, alright. I'll come by next week then. Yes, please. Thank you so much. I want Honoka to have fun while she learns how to play, so I'm glad her teacher seems like a good person. I have no problem leaving it up to Nanase-san. Nanase-san came over once a week for piano lessons. Just like the first day, she and Honoka looked like they were having fun while playing. However, 
there was also a big difference from our first meeting. I'm going to leave snacks here, so please, have a break when you feel like it. I'm okay, don't worry about me. Have a drink at least? It's alright. Yeah, for some reason, she became cold towards me. I'm okay with it because she's super nice to Honoka, but I'm worried I did something to her. Uh, alright, I'll be on the first floor, so can you let me know when you're done? Uh, okay, I understand. I wanted to watch Honoka play the piano, but Nanase-san might be uncomfortable with me here. Before I knew it, two months had passed, while I never learned the reason why Nanase-san was acting cold towards me. What? Really? Huh? Was someone yelling? Is everything okay? E yes Nothing's wrong. There was a loud shout I heard earlier. I'm pretty sure it's not nothing. Honoka? Did something happen? Nope. We were just talking. Oh, really? Honoka doesn't lie to me, so she might have just had an exaggerated reaction to something. I'm sorry. It might have just been my imagination. I'll be waiting in the other room then. Uh, um, would you like to listen? Honoka-chan has gotten so much better these past two months. Kyotaro, I'm so much better now, so listen! Uh, okay, got it. Huh. Maybe I was just overthinking things, and it was okay for me to stay here all along? Wow, you did get so much better! You might even be better than me! Hmm, I can teach you how to play now, Kyotaro! I see. I'd love for you to teach me! Hey, Honoka-chan, do you want to practice in the piano recital? Huh? Oh, yeah. Hmm, it's a place where you show people how much your piano playing skills improved. That sounds like fun! I want to do it! What? It's only been two months since she started playing. Is it okay for her to participate? Of course, it helps motivate kids. Also, it's nerve-wracking to play in front of people. So I think it's better to start getting used to it now. I see. In that case, yes. Please. Uh, of course. After that, Horoka and Nanase-san started officially practicing for the piano recital. Just like Nanase-san had said, having a visible goal was extremely important. Horoka started practicing harder than ever before. Not only that, the two had gotten extremely close because of the lessons, and... Maki-chan, let's eat dinner together! Honoka, don't bother Nanase-san by asking her that. She probably doesn't want to eat food I cooked either. N not at all. If you're okay with it, Shirakawa-san. Yay! I'll help cook then. What? You're okay with it? Yes. I'm gonna wash my hands. Um, you don't have to force yourself. I can explain it to Honoka myself. No, I said yes because I actually wanted to. Did you not want to see me here, Shirakawa-san? That's not it at all! I'd be happy to have you stay for dinner. Wait, what's with the sudden change? She was unfriendly with me all this time. I washed my hands! Kyotaro, Maki-chan, you have to wash your hands! Yeah, got it. Nanase-san, please relax on the sofa or something. Huh? I'll help too. What? But you're our guest today. Don't worry about it. I live by myself, so I know how to cook. Wow! I'm gonna cook with you, Maki-chan! Okay then, please. Of course, leave it to me. I'll cut the vegetables. Can you set them on the plate? Okay! This kind of seems like a husband and wife cooking food with their child. Shirakawa-san! Your hands! Oh, ouch! I wasn't paying attention! Are you okay? Kyotaro, are you okay? I'm alright. I can just spit on this and it'll get better on its own. You can't do that. What if it leaves a scar? Y you're right. Honoka-chan, do you know where your first aid kit is? Yep, over there! Nanase-san cleaned up my cut after that. You need to take better care of yourself. You're going to make Honoka-chan worry. Yes, I'll be more careful. I'll also worry too. Y yes, I'll be careful! What's going on all of a sudden? Oh, Maki-chan and Kyotaro-chan are being so lovey-dovey! No, we're not! Where did you even learn those words? On YouTube! A couple on YouTube said it! 
Why are first graders nowadays so grown? But I'm happy you guys are friends now. Huh? I was worried because you were unfriendly with Coach Charo, Maki-chan. Oh, I'm sorry, Honoka-chan. I didn't know I made you worried. Um, honestly? I felt that until recently, too. Why are you nice to me now? Uh, um... That's... <sighs> Don't laugh at me, okay? Yes, of course not. The truth is, I started having feelings for you when I first met you. What? Why? I mentioned it earlier, but I was genuinely happy that you saw it through my dedication and hard work. Plus, I love children so much that I want to be a music teacher when I graduate. So, that's why my type is a man who is nice to children. Ah, uh, I see. But why did you start being cold to me after our second meeting? Uh, that's because... I didn't want to fall for someone who has a wife, so I tried my best to distance myself. Oh, I see. But I'm not married. Honoka is actually my sister's daughter. She's not biologically mine. I yes, Honoka-chan mentioned that to me before. Oh, I see. Everything started to make sense at that moment. That's why you screamed? Yes, I was surprised. Uh, I see. Uh, Nanase-san, if you're okay with it, would you like to be in a relationship with me? What? You're okay with someone like me? That should be my line. I have a child after all. Of course. I love Honoka-chan too. Honoka-chan, would you be okay if Shirakawa-san and I started dating? Yeah! I'd be really happy. Maki-chan, are you going to come over every day then? Honoka-chan... I don't think I'll be here every day since we're not getting married yet. Yet? Uh, never mind. I heard it loud and clear. I heard it too! Uh, please forget what I said. What? I wonder what I should do. She was just Honoka's piano teacher at first, but our relationship changed drastically. But I'm sure the three of us can live a happy life together from now on. One month later... Kyotaro Maki-chan! I played really well! Yeah! <laughs> Honoka! You're growing so much! Kyotaro-san... <laughs> don't, don't cry! Maki! You're crying too! Oh, That family is so cute! Yeah... I'm jealous! We might not be directly related to Honoka by blood, but I'm sure we'll continue to be a good family. When I turned down the most beautiful girl in our school... I want to at least make some memories with you, Kitamura-kun. Come over to my house right now. Somehow, things turned out like that. I'm kind of sweaty, so I'm going to take a shower. And somehow into that! Is it okay for me to go along with things this way? Anyways... I'm going to reflect back on the things that happened while she's gone. Going back to the opening ceremony of our school year, my name is Yusuke Kitamura, and I'm a second year in Class C. Yes! I'm in the same class as Kane-sama! I'm also in the same class as Kane-sama! I'm so happy! I'm in the same class as Ohara-san, too. Classroom C. Oh, it's Kane-sama! Good morning! Good morning. My name is Yoshida! We're classmates now! Can't wait to be with you forever! That's... Uh, I'm sorry. Ohara-san is super popular, isn't she? Our school, Arisugawa Academy, was a school for the rich, where the children of politicians and businessmen enrolled in. Basically, every student here was used to being treated like princes and princesses. Because of that, your family's background mattered more in the popularity hierarchy rather than things like being smart or athletic. Even in the midst of that, Kanae Ohara-san's family was extremely rich. In addition, Ohara-san excelled in both sports and academics, and looked beautiful. She was a very responsible girl too, and was popular with both the male and female student population. The entire school adored her, and she was called the Madonna of the school, or Kanae-sama. 
There were even rumors that all the boys in her class had a crush on her during her first year. As for me... I was hiding the fact that my family is poor. I was able to enroll here on a scholarship because of my grades. That's why Ohara-san was just someone I admired from afar. She was someone far above me, but... Kitamura-kun, good morning. Good morning, Ohara-san! We're in the same class this year. I guess so. Oh god, Ohara-san talked to me this morning?! Wait, huh? Why?! What's wrong? Oh, um... I was just wondering how you knew me. Did we ever talk? That's... Kana-sama! I took Shane's phone numbers! Me too! Me too! Um... I'm sorry, Kitamura-kun. Let's talk later. Oh, uh, okay. Ohara-san seemed busy being surrounded by our classmates. I was a little disappointed, but also relieved at the same time. I didn't want others to look at me weirdly because the prettiest girl in our school was talking to me. If someone looked into my background, they might find out that I come from a poor family. But during class... Huh? Did she look at me again? It seems like Ohara-san was thinking about me. Did she say she would talk to me later too? But she was surrounded by our classmates during break, so she didn't seem to be able to move around much. Just like that, three days passed without a chance to talk to Ohara-san. That day when I got to school, something fell out of my locker. A letter? There's no name. Is this a love letter? No, no. It could be a prank. I have something important to talk to you about. Please stay in the classroom after school. I can't tell if it's a love letter just like this, or... I wonder who sent me this. It seems like a girl had written the letter, but there was also a possibility that a boy pretended to write like a girl. Either way, I decided to stay back after class. And after school, I was waiting in the empty classroom when... Oh, Harasan! Thank you for waiting for me. The person who sent the letter was none other than Ohara-san! I'm sorry I haven't gotten a chance to talk to you. I've wanted to talk to you for a while, but... I see. Thanks for being considerate. So, what did you want to talk about? You don't remember me? Huh? Remember you? I knew about you ever since we started going to the school, but we weren't classmates until now. So, you... Forget about me, Kitamura-kun. I've always remembered you, Kitamura-kun. Because I've always had a crush on you. What? A crush on me?! I was shocked that the prettiest girl in our school had confessed her feelings for me. I thought it was a punishment game at first, but Ohara-san looked like she was serious. But, as far as I can remember, I've never met or spoken to someone this pretty. Most likely not! I've lived a life separated from politicians and businessmen, so there's no way I would be acquainted to a rich girl on her level. Is she mistaking me for someone else? But, but she did know my name, and she's looking directly into my eyes now! It's okay if you don't remember what happened in the past, but I want to be in a relationship with you, Kitamura-kun. Uh, Ohara-san? I was honestly moved by her confession, but... I I'm sorry. I'm really happy you said that, but... But I can't be your boyfriend. Oh, oh, why not? You didn't like me? Uh, I think you're a beautiful lady. And a wonderful person too, but... But you and I live in different worlds. Different... Worlds? I don't deserve someone like you, Ohara-san. I... I also have an important promise I made to someone. An important promise with someone? Uh, well, basically, I think there are boys that are much more suited to being your boyfriend. <laughs> oh, I, I work so hard that I can deserve to be with you. What? With me? What are you talking about? Oh, Harasan! Don't cry! <laughs> I can't be in a relationship with you. I am 
least want to make some memories with you, Kitamura-kun. Memories? Come to my house. What? I, I don't know about that. We argued back and forth after that, but I ended up giving in and going to her house. 30 minutes later, I was at Ohara-san's house. The house was huge, as expected from the daughter of a huge business. I was brought right to Ohara-san's room. It was my first time going into a girl's room. This room is huge. Yeah, it's so big that it doesn't feel comfortable sometimes. Is that so? Yeah. I'm not comfortable for another reason, though. <laughs> I'm kind of sweaty, so I'm going to take a shower. What? Uh, okay. Do you want to come with me? No, thank you! Now that I was alone, I started to organize the jumbled thoughts in my brain. First of all, where did Ohara-san and I meet? She said she always had a crush on me, but I can't remember. Uh, what's going on? Anyways, second of all, I have to turn her down clearly and politely. Sorry about the wait. Ohara-san, like I said earlier, I have a promise I made to someone important. What? Huh? A plain-looking girl with glasses and her hair tied up came into the room. Uh, what about now? Do you remember me now, Yukun? Ohara-san, but... Huh? Did you call me Yukun? I thought I saw this girl somewhere, when suddenly, my memories from elementary school came back to me. I only know one girl who calls me Yukun. There was a girl I used to play with a lot when I was in fourth grade. She was my classmate, and her name was Kana-chan. She was a little introverted, and always read books in the corner of the classroom. Her friends... I don't think she had anyone other than me. Kana-chan, do you want to play Othello with me? Uh, uh, okay. We both had single mothers and were poor. We got along well because of our similar living environments. She didn't talk much, but I remember being very comfortable whenever I hung out with her. Yukun, why are you so nice to me? Uh, I wonder why. Maybe because you're my classmate? Uh, I see. Also, because you're a nice person, Kana-chan. Uh, I I'm nice? You always hang out with me, even if I'm like this. My family's poor, so I can't play card games or video games like everyone else. But you always hang out with me. That's why I like you, Kana-chan. I, I also... I like you too, Yukun. We might get married in the future, then. Uh, I would be happy if that happened. That means I have to study hard and get into a good job before that, then. Yeah, I'm going to work hard too then. My mom taught me that the only way to get out of being poor was to study hard. Our society judges a person's level of education very strictly. I needed to get into a good high school, go to a good college, and get hired by a good company. I always wondered what good meant, but Kana-chan and I studied hard and got good grades. However... You're gonna transfer schools? Yeah... My mom said she's getting remarried to a rich man. Uh, oh, that's good, isn't it? Congratulations! Uh, I'm not happy at all! Hana-chan, I'm going to be separated from you, Yuko. Don't worry, okay? I'm going to be successful and rich one day, and I'll go find you. Uh, really? Yeah, I promise. So take care of yourself until then, okay? Kana-chan? Is that actually you, Kana-chan? Yeah, it's me. I'm so glad you remembered me. Oh, uh, it's not that I forgot about you. I know I'm just making excuses, but you have a different last name, and you look super different too. But I never forgot the promise I made to you. That's why I hid the fact that I'm poor and enrolled in Arisugawa Academy. I knew that the only way to get into a good college and get a good job was to be in the top high school in the prefecture. Does that mean you always thought of me as an important person? Yeah. I wasn't confident whether you'd still be waiting for me, but... 
Of course I was. I was gonna wait forever until you came back to me. But I was so worried that you actually forgot about me. So I couldn't resist. Kana-chan apparently noticed that I was in her school since the opening ceremony of our first year. It seems she even passed by me in the hallway a couple of times too. But I never noticed her. She thought that I had long forgotten about her. I'm so glad I gathered up the courage to talk to you. It's okay, but I want to always be together with you from now on. I'm sorry for making you feel lonely all this time, Kana-chan. That's... Uh, we can't? I don't have confidence in myself. I'm still a student, and poor too. And what about it? I don't come from a rich family, so I need to get at least a good job and be successful. Wait, who is that? <laughs> I heard all of that. Sebastian? It seems like his name was Sebastian. A very fitting name for a man like him. The three of us decided to talk. Mr. Yusuke Kitamura? Miss Kanae has talked a lot about you. Oh. You don't stand out much but your grades are the best in your class. It's amazing that you can keep your grades so high when you don't go to a cram school or get tutored. Sebastian, you kun is... I understand. I was not trying to insult him. I was honestly just amazed. You've worked so hard so that you can one day marry Miss Kanae, haven't you? Oh no, I'm barely there yet. I haven't succeeded in anything yet. I have an old mindset. I do love someone who works hard for what they want. If that hard work is all for Miss Kanae, I wholeheartedly support the two of you. Thank you so much! Anyway, Miss, I would like to talk to him in private, if you don't mind. I understand. Alright, Miss Yusuke. It seems like you have some uncertainties about dating Miss Kanae. Yes, the thing is... I told Sebastian all about how I come from a poor family, and that our backgrounds didn't match. If I dated Kana-chan now, I thought that I might be a bother to her. Does your family background or money matter when you care for someone? That might be true, but... Alright, let me talk a little about Miss Kana's stepfather, and my boss. He didn't care about differences in wealth. He married Miss Kana's mother, even when everyone else was against it. That was all because he loved her. Family background didn't matter to him. All that matters is whether you're ready to accept Miss Kanae's feelings. You don't need to worry about what her parents think. I'm sure both of them will love you once they find out how good of a man you are. But if you're really worried about your family background, what do you say about trying this good part-time job? A part-time job? But I already have a handful keeping with my studies. Yes, yes, I understand that. That's why I want to introduce you to a job where you can do both. Who knew that job would be to tutor you, Kana-chan? Now we can be together all the time! Yeah, thank you, Kana-chan. If you want to thank someone, it should be Sebastian, not me! This reminds me of the two of us back then. After that, I started spending a lot more time with Kana-chan. I also deeply regretted a lot of things. When Kana-chan confessed her feelings for me, I thought that we lived in completely different worlds. But it seems like I had created an unnecessary wall between us. Um, Kana-chan? What's wrong, Yukun? I wanted to apologize. It seems like I was wrong. Wrong? About what? I didn't look at you as you, Kana-chan. I was worried about our family backgrounds and didn't try to accept my feelings. But just like Sebastian said, I realize now that all that matters is that I have the confidence to accept your feelings. D does that mean? I like you, Kana-chan. I want to be in a relationship with you. And I want to be with you forever. So, will you be my girlfriend? You could. Yes, of course I will. Whoa, whoa, Kana-chan! I love you, Yukun! Just like that, 
we became an official couple. There are a lot of things you find out about someone after you start dating them. Kana-chan was rich, but she was economical and took care of her things. She would fix her worn-out clothes without buying new ones. Here you go. How does this look? Wow, it looks like new. Thank you, Kana-chan. I always thought she was a calm girl, but she liked to be babied. She would immediately become clingy when it was just the two of us. Um, don't you think you're a little too close? This is normal for a couple. Really? About two weeks after we started dating, I got the chance to meet her parents. Sebastian told us a lot about you. Seems like you're taking very good care of Kanae. You seem like a responsible person, and you're smart too. Kana-chan, you found yourself a good boyfriend, didn't you? Well... <laughs> if Kanae chose you, I don't see any problem with it. You're right. Please, take good care of her. Of course! Just like that, her parents supported our relationship. They treated me like her son. Rumors that we were dating spread around the school, but... You're a childhood friend of Kanae-sama, aren't you? You're so lucky! You helped out Kanae-sama when she couldn't fit in with her classmates? You're like a prince on a white horse! Not at all. My family's actually poor, and... Who cares about that? Your grades are always at the top of our grade level! That's so cool, Kitamura! Yeah, I want you to tutor me like Kanae-sama! What? I thought that my classmates would cast me out for being poor, but it seems like I was overthinking about that, too. But you can't. Hyukun is mine. Hey, come on, Kana-chan! Kana-sama is being clingy with someone. This is a rare sighting. Uh, all I wanted from life was for Kana-sama to be clingy with me! That day after school, the two of us went to the park we played together a lot at back then. Everyone was surprised, but it seems like they support our relationship. I'm happy about that. Also, you put yourself down too much. You're right. I built a wall around myself because of that. I learned my lesson. But now you don't need to worry. By the way, when I first went over to your house, didn't you say you wanted to make memories with me? Uh, what did you mean by that? This is what I meant. I was surprised when she suddenly pressed her lips against mine, but at the same time, my feelings for her grew. Today, tomorrow, many years from now, I want to be confident in the journey I made with her, and want to walk side by side with her as long as I can. Imari Tachibana's smiles are just brimming with confidence. Um, you kind of smell different from the usual, Imari. Oh, you've noticed. See, I tried this different hair oil. So, any opinions? It's so lovely. It suits you really well, Amari. I know, right? She's a hottie, gorgeous, stylish, cool. You name it, she's probably already got such words of praise from our classmates. It's like these compliments simply grow on trees like nothing. And it's not that she's all smiles as she gets showered with compliments or some sort of approval-seeking behavior resulting from others. In fact, it's this. Imari wasn't born as this class heartthrob you see right now. Rather, Imari worked hard to be this glamour girl. And this Imari is all a product of her own dedication as well as hard work. Imari, you're simply slaying it today too. Girl, you're an eye candy. Oh, really? Thanks. See, rather than being all shy about it, She's simply pulling this vibe with ease. By the way, Amari, wanna hit the karaoke after classes are over? Um, let me join too! Oh, me too! Count me in! You're probably wondering why I know Imari this well. So you see, well, my name's Mitsuru Ono, and I'm childhood friends with Imari. That's why, Imari's gonna hit the karaoke with her friends, huh? Yeah. Looks like I'm heading straight home again for today. Now that I think about it, since when did Imari start being this popular? Was it middle school? I'm a bit bummed seeing things right now. But it should be fine as long as she's really happy with all these. Hey, Mitsuru! 
<sighs> Why would you leave me alone? Imari? What happened? Weren't you going to the karaoke with your friends? Um, so, about that. Something kinda came up, so... Something? I thought you were always free during Thursdays. Uh, OMG! You're taking notes on my schedule? Weirdo! Um, forget about that. So, look, how do I look today? How do you look? Uh, Imari has this weird side to her. You see, she's always brimming with confidence at school, but whenever it's just the two of us, she suddenly acts demure and shy. Kind of strange if you ask me. Oh, don't act dumb. Yeah, right. Imari usually wears her black hair straight all the way down. Today was different. It's rare seeing her tying her hair up in a half ponytail. Nevertheless, with a hair clip to top it all, looks good on you. Really? Yeah, it's pretty. Yeah, you thank God! Honestly, I kind of lied about it. What I thought was she looked really, really pretty. But I couldn't bring myself to utter such words straight to her face that she looked so adorable as I was shy. Plus, we're already in high school. It'd be embarrassing telling a girl she was oh so adorable. Gorgeous, stylish, and even cool could easily pass as your everyday compliment towards Imari, as everybody uses them. Using these to praise her doesn't bother me a bit. Wait, don't tell me that thing you want to do... Is... is this? Uh, uh, this... what? I mean, did you want my opinion on how your new hairstyle looked? Like that something you mentioned earlier? No, you've got it all wrong! That reaction... Man, I was right on the money! You aren't listening! Look, it's not all about that. You don't need to be embarrassed about it. I swear, it does look really good. Uh, uh shut up! Yeah, you didn't really need to ask for my opinion. Haven't you had enough from all those compliments you got from our classmates? Jeez, and even catching up to me just for this... Mitsuru, you can be really dense at times. Look, Imari, now's the time to speak up if you have something bothering you. I might have done something terribly wrong. Heck, I'm even willing to apologize for it. No, I'm fine. You did nothing wrong. If there's someone to blame, uh, that would be me. See? That's what I was trying to say! Give me a break. Oh, so now you want to know? Huh? What? Forget it. Um, right. It was probably after being in high school, where things concerning Imari really got increasingly confusing. And it's not like we're on bad terms. Compared to when we were young, it's just a bit different. Imari looked and behaved totally different back then, when we were little. She was usually alone, and a crybaby. You Get away from us, Little Miss Piggy! Uh, little Miss Piggy? Aww, what's a tubby like you doing in those frilly clothes? That's what you are! A Little Miss Piggy! You really believe wearing those would make you cute? Newsflash, Porky! It doesn't suit you at all! <laughs> Come here! <laughs> ah, hey! That loser is holding her hand! Tubby and loser sitting in a tree! K-I-S-S-I-N-G! Um, why did you... Uh, so, I think you're really cute. I swear! Cute? Me? Really? So, you're not gonna call me Little Miss Piggy? Nah, no way! I'm not like those jerks! But, why did you save me? Because I would hate it if something happens! Hate what? So you see, if they continue bullying you, I mean, you probably stop wearing that pretty dress, and you do something like that. Okay, I'll see you then! Uh, um, wait! Your name? Mitsuru Ono! I'm Imari Tachibana. Uh, so, look, tomorrow, I'll be wearing my favorite dress, so, like, at this park. You got it! You just need me to be here, right? Promise me, okay? Pinky, swear me! And this was the moment we first met each other. The following day, we made it a thing to hang out together. And while we got teased by the other kids, it didn't really bother us. We were together all the time. Yoho! Hello! Earth to Mitsuru! What the heck are you spacing out for? Oh, my bad. I just remembered something from before. Something from before? Since then, you've kind of changed, Imari. Something like that. I've changed? 
Where? You're kind of close. So, which is better? The Amari from back then, or this Amari right now? Hands down, the Imari right now! Um, why? Well, it's because you're the class heartthrob right now. You're pretty popular among the boys. Plus, you have a lot of girls who are really friendly around you. And hey, don't you get discovered for those modeling jobs once in a while? Nothing beats the Imari right now. Well, that's just everyone's objective opinion, right? Here, look at me. Then tell me what your subjective opinion is. What you honestly think of me. Like, what's different before and now? My subjective opinion, huh? That would definitely be still the Imari right now. And also, wasn't I the only playmate you had back then, when we were little? Now you even garner lots of attention from people around you, right? You're just better off right now, as you have lots of friends you can hang out with after class. Seriously, I thought I was better off with just you. Us together alone, like in the past. Mitsuru. Nah, you'll surely be bored to death with me. <sighs> I've had enough. I'm leaving. See you tomorrow then. Bye. Hey, Imari! Obviously, I mean, he isn't wrong. So we've outgrown each other. We weren't those innocent kids from back then. Expecting things to continue just like in the past is silly. Still, that's why I've made an effort to do my best so he'll notice me. But it still isn't enough. Uh, so, yep, these braided half ponytail look. So, it doesn't suit me. Like, only those real feminine cutesy type girls could pull off this hairstyle. Oh, what were you thinking, Amari? He even chose this girly hair clip. I even put a lot of effort into picking this ribbon design. Well, who am I kidding? It doesn't suit me. Ugh, I really want to wear something cute, like, like when I was little. Wow, Imari, you look really cute in that dress. <laughs> Thanks, Dad bought it for me. Back then, I was excited putting on a new dress that I chose every single day. Mitsuru would always compliment me with, That's cute! This made me really happy. I really wanted to hear more of Mitsuru's That's Cute, and so poured every effort into becoming prettier. It was grueling at first, but nothing really was that tough if it all meant getting praised by Mitsuru. But things took a turn after reaching middle school. So hey, I kind of noticed something's different with you now that we're in middle school, Imari. You think so? Not sure if it's because you're now cooler or maybe prettier. Hmm. I guess you're kind of matured now, is what I'm trying to say. Huh, I can't see what you're trying to get at. Even our school uniform's a plain, boring navy blue. But somehow, it really looks good on you, Imari. So you're saying a plain, dull blue style looks good on me? No, I, I didn't mean that. What I'm trying to say is that you've managed to pull it off. It doesn't mean you're plain or dull or anything, Imari. Okay then. Honestly, which would suit me better? A brightly colored one or this navy blue uniform? Hmm... That would be this navy blue one, because you look more mature in that. Is that so? As I sat in front of the mirror each day, I came to a realization that even though I was pursuing these cutesy look or style, there came a time that I inevitably leaned towards making myself prettier. My look, style, and overall appearance strayed far from what one would call as cute. <sighs> this dress doesn't suit me too. It was one of my favorites too. I often checked these fashion magazines and got a number of influencers and inspiration from it. But as I read through, I ended up realizing that such cutesy items weren't really tailored for someone like me. Come to think of it, Mitsuru hasn't really been complimenting me being cute lately. Did he already forget our thing back then when we were little? My style's totally different now compared to middle school. I've gotten more into this sort of cool girl aesthetics recently. As I persevered and strived into perfecting my looks, I then kind of started seeking validation too from everyone around me. That helped me become more confident, but in the end, it wasn't that kind of me that I was longing for. This me right now could probably just pull off these simple ribbons. I honestly wanted to put on this one, and maybe if I did, Mitsuru would call me cute. <sighs> this totally wouldn't look good on me. Uh, Mom, could you at least knock on the door? 
Ooh, sweetheart. Did I just discover something that would put you in trouble? N not really, Mom. Look, that's not the issue right now. We'll set that aside for now. Moving on. This mom of yours thinks that an oversized ribbon might suit you well, honey. <sighs> You're still prying into this topic, mom. Oh my, well, excuse me. You just kind of had this worried look on your face. <sighs> Leave me alone, mom. I'm sure Mitsuru would compliment you if he sees you dotting those barrettes. M Mitsuru has nothing to do with this! Oh, and see, you're panicking at the moment because Mitsuru hasn't called you. Cute, am I right or am I right? Oh, what, what? Why would you say that? Why, Mitsuru's already all grown up, right? It isn't strange to think a boy his age would have reservations calling a girl cute, or is it not? Put yourself in a boy's shoes. Surely that would be hard to do, right? Mom, that isn't true at all. It's just, I'm simply not cute. Oh, sweetie, don't be so hard on yourself. You see, adolescent boys sort of find it hard to be straightforward with what they want to say. Um, so what should I do? Oh, that's where you get your game face on. And you just go on the offense. Make sure to sell yourself. Flaunt your style. Really? Uh, what I meant was, no! I told you, Mom, this isn't about Mitsuru. Oh, give it up. There's quite a history with you and your unrequited love for Mitsuru. Oh, darling, I'd really love to get to this story's conclusion already. OMG! Mom, I told you! Whatever you say. Game face. Offense. Really, Mom? Uh, I'll see you later then, Mom. Oh, Imari, morning. I yep, good morning. Ah, uh, uh, What's your problem? She's so cute. I feel it's my first time seeing Imari tying her hair up like this. Nonetheless, she's really killing it. Jeez, and that ribbon too. Man, she's too adorable. Uh, hurry, we're leaving. Uh, yeah. Right, she's too cute. I'm getting all anxious. Uh, what? What is it now? N nothing really. We kind of did this back then, right? Or is this awkward? N no, what's up with Imari today? On top of being really, really cute, she's clinging this close to me. Aren't you going to say something? Going to say what? Here's my cue. This should be the moment I'd be saying she's all cute. Uh, you're cute. Cute. You're cute. You're cute. Make sure you're free later after our classes end, okay? Uh, after? I repeat, after our classes ends, promise me, okay? Uh, sure. Time really does fly fast, and the school bell just rang. I wonder what this is all about. Just like before, she did stick real close to me, though without saying anything. What? Why are you staring at me? Uh, yeah. Our places are in completely different directions, so I was just wondering if we're heading to the nearest station. Seriously, I just felt like taking a stroll. Right. Today was like before. I have zero clue as to what was going on through Imari's head. Thanks to our little detour, though, being spotted by the other students from our school was the least of our concerns. So everybody was kind of surprised today. Yeah, they were. I mean, it's so obvious they'd be surprised seeing me with this hairstyle. It's just weird, right? Eh? Uh... Hmm? Something wrong? So pretty. Yeah. You did wear these kind of clothes back then, Imari, right? Uh, um, so did you remember? Y yeah. I really thought you already forgot that. Nah, I can't really forget something like that. I see then. Quick, over here! Uh, hold on! Are we going inside the shop? It'll be fine, just hurry up. As expected, everything just looks gorgeous here. Good afternoon. Is there anything I could help you with? Uh, um, do you have any dresses that match as well with this barrette? Oh, I see. I'll bring them in a few seconds. Are you also trying them on? Yes, please. Give me your honest opinion, okay? Sure. So, uh, Imari... What? Uh, forget it. That's when it all hit me. Somehow, 
I kind of realized I was turning away Imari all this time, and was thinking I could lightly get away with it, and she just shrug it off because it was her. Ugh, I'm the worst. Even though Imari was this close to me, I still failed to blurt those words she wanted from me. Um... Oh, you done changing? Promise me you won't laugh. Yeah. Swear? I swear. <sighs> Mead, who am I kidding? This doesn't feel right. Okay, I'll change back. You look really cute. Yeah? The dress itself is cute, but you wearing that cute dress? Imari, you're really cute. Uh, what took you so long? Imari? <laughs> I'm kind of starting to cry. You're crying? It's just... I seriously thought it wasn't cute anymore. Uh, yeah, so that's why. Uh, yep. Imari, I owe you an apology. I've kept my mouth shut all this time, but you're really, really cute, Imari! Uh, you're lying! No, I'm not! There was this day when I just suddenly couldn't muster up to tell you you were cute, and little by little, that continued until I eventually wasn't able to say it at all! Uh, uh, but aren't I that cool type of girl? Everyone says I'm pretty or even stylish, and that's all the compliment I'd ever get since then. You're thinking the same thing too, right, Mitsuru? I was trying to play it cool by calling you pretty, just like everybody else was, but you see, I was embarrassed. Bandwagoning with them was kind of less awkward for me. Look, the truth is, no matter what anyone says, you're simply, you're simply cute, Imari. Mitsuru, pardon me for cutting you off in the middle of your conversation, but have you decided on those clothes? Uh, 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 uh. uh yeah, right, uh, I'll pay for these, and, um, She'll wear them as it is. You're fine with those, right, Imari? Um, uh, yes. Thanks for buying me these. Y yeah. I'll try lots, lots of dresses from now on. There was this really cute girl just right beside me. Up until now, she'd been known for being that cool girl, our class heartthrob. But starting today, she's just the dearest, sweetest girl you'll see. That childhood friend of mine. It's a drastic change from her current image, but this nostalgic feeling tells me things were meant to be this way. As for Imari, her smiles are just brimming with confidence as always. Oh, your hair's so cute than ever, Imari. <laughs> so you've noticed? I'd definitely owe you if you shared your hair care routine. Pretty please? Sure, you can count on me. That girl's confidence. It's a product of all her efforts. The reason behind her sweet smile is because she poured all her best, for sure, just so she could bring out her cute self. So you're really fine with that? With what? Like, you've decided not to go with a cute hairstyle, or with those cute hair accessories while at school, and... <laughs> I mean, I wasn't planning on being all girly or cute while at school at all. Showing this cutesy side of me is a special treat. All just for your eyes, Mitsuru. I'm Sayakudo, a 25-year-old office worker at an ordinary company. Because of the way I carry myself at work and in my private life in a composed manner, many of my seniors and colleagues seem to like me. Kudo, how about we take you to a dating party sometime soon, huh? A girl has been begging me to introduce her to you. Yeah, there's no need. My current girlfriend is the love of my life. It's a shame he's taken. He seems like a loyal type. Of course, this is a lie to avoid any <laughs> unnecessary hassle. I don't need any dating in my life. All right, I guess I'll go home now. About the papers from last time, our client is requesting a sample for this color. I'll prepare it right away. Thank you. Here's the data that you requested earlier. Oh, thank you so much. It helps a lot when making samples. No need to thank me. It's my job. This gorgeous lady is a worker of one of her company's clients, Miss Amy Mochizuki. She's one year older than me, and she's always straight to the point, and is easy to work with. We're already almost done working. <laughs> she's so easy to work with. I'll be going now. Thank you for today. Um, it's already six o'clock. Are you leaving already? Yes, I'll be heading home now. Great, I'm leaving now too. May I have a moment with you? I had something I needed to tell you about. Yes? 
I've been observing your work for a while now, and... Is this what people call headhunting? I'll be baffled, but I still want to stay at my current workplace for now. Therefore, I want you to be my boyfriend. Huh? What? Please consider it. What? Did she just confess her love to me? Please, I'll be looking forward to your answer. Considering how serious and logical she is, I don't think she's joking around. I'm very sorry, but I can't date you. What? I'll be going now. What? Oh, oh wait! Could you please at least tell me the reason? What? Please, for me. I'm sorry, but I have a girlfriend. Thank you so much for liking a person like me, though. I'll be going now. I'm very sorry. No, I'm sorry. It's gonna be difficult to work with her from now on. She was such a nice business partner. Even if I was told it was cocky for me to turn down a beautiful lady like her, I didn't have any intention to change my mind. Until... A few days later, I was at a dating party because I was begged by my colleague to attend. Just to match the number of guys and girls. Cheers to destiny for bringing us together! Ch cheers Oh no, this is awkward. Cheers! Do you need some more, Mr. Kudo? No, no, no thank you! Uh, my glass is still full. Oh, don't be like that! <laughs> Your smile is so intimidating. I'll be going to the restroom for a second. Why is Miss Mochizuki here? Oh, I'm so unlucky. Mr. Kudo? Huh? What? Hmm, why are you, someone who's already taken, attending a dating party specifically meant for finding a lover? Well, I can explain! Are you trying to cheat on your girlfriend? No, I just don't have a girl... friend. What?! That's... mean! You lied and rejected me! That's kind of cruel, you know! I have no objections to that. You should speak up, you know. Gosh, she's furious! So, you just don't want to date me, but you want to attend dating parties and have fun with girls? No, I just came here because they needed more guys! You can't make any excuses if you already decided to attend, you know! Yes, ma'am. <sighs> well, I guess we should head back then. Let's have fun tonight, shall we? What do you do on weekends? I, I don't have a notable hobby or anything. This looks delicious! Wanna share? Her pressure is so terrifying that I can't say no. And she's so close! Looks like you found someone! <laughs> I kinda feel bad for your girlfriend. <laughs> don't worry. Uh, she's not the type to get mad about these things. Yes, besides, I don't have a girlfriend anyways. And I don't think this girl likes me. Finally! The past two hours felt like forever. Now let's go to the next place then! Alright, I'll get going. The two of us will be going now. Uh. Let's go, Mr. Kudo. Huh? Alright, let's hear the reason you lied to me. Did you want to avoid dating me that much? You know, I thought of you as a very trustworthy person. Even if you were to reject me, I would have wanted you to be earnest with it. I'm sorry. I know you are. Now, let's hear the reason behind this. Uh, it's nothing exciting to hear about. I just don't like the whole betraying and being betrayed thing that comes with relationships. Back in my school days, I had a best friend named Kaida. Kaida had always been in love with a girl named Mocha. But as she repeatedly came to me for consultation, she soon confessed that she had feelings towards me. I knew how Kaida felt towards Mocha, and I didn't have any feelings towards her. As I rejected her, she broke out in tears, saying that I reeled her into liking me just to reject her. Before I knew it, my friendship with Kaida had been broken to pieces as well. When feelings like love get involved, Everything becomes a mess. People just stop making the correct observations and decisions. 
That's why I don't want to get involved with dating. Or get too close with any girls. I act as if I'm taken because it saves me time and effort from these things. Is this enough explanation? Why are you looking at me like that? Well, I'm surprised. I didn't expect you to be so vulnerable. Huh? I mean, you're always quiet and cool. What's that supposed to mean? It means you're cuter than I thought you'd be. And I like you even more now. Huh? Aren't you way over me? You're even attending dating parties already. There's no way I'd be over you already. My friends brought me so they could cheer me up from being rejected. Oops, I'm sorry about that. May I give you a piece of advice? If you're always scared of getting hurt, you'll never find out what you might gain after undergoing it. There's no need to find that out. Well, there's no issue with me hitting on you if you're not taken. Here's my personal phone number. Well, please. Miss Mochizuki! Call me Ami from now on. Huh? By her first name? All right. That's that then. You better be prepared. How much can a person change in such a short period? She's way different from the person I thought of her to be. A few days later. Um, Miss Mochizuki? Miss Amy? Why are we eating ramen together right now? Maintaining a good relationship with our clients is our company motto, and this place is our CEO's favorite. I see. Wait, you're lying, aren't you? You're sharper than you look, huh? Anyone would notice. I've always wanted to come here, but it was kind of intimidating for me to come on my own. I'll pay, so please, eat with me. You could just say that in the first place. Ever since then, Miss Amy would always ask me out to go eat with her after our meetings. She always takes me to approachable restaurants like this. Is she intentionally picking places that I would be comfortable going to? Cheers. Uh, I messed up big time at work today. That's why I wanted to see your face. Huh? Why? Hey, are you going to make me say it? Wait, I have a bad feeling about this. <laughs> I wanted my beloved Kudo to help me feel better. <laughs> Come on, give me a hug. Hey, are you drunk already? Uh, I'm not drunk at all. Alright, now I'll be able to work hard again next week. I'm glad you feel that way. Oh my... On the other hand, you seem like you're not feeling too well. Huh? Not at all. What is it? Do you want to see me again tomorrow to make you feel better again? I never said that. <laughs> you're so adorable. Hey, I coincidentally found a pair of tickets to the planetarium right now. <laughs> You've had those in your pocket since the beginning. I mean, I don't have plans tomorrow. Huh? Great! Then let's meet at the train station right at noon! Alright. Oh, I haven't had this much fun in a long time. Even if we aren't dating, I'd love to keep being her friend from now on. I'm here early. She's probably gonna joke around about that, huh? She looks different from always. She's so much prettier. Oh, um, do you think it's weird? My clothes today? Not at all. They, they fit you well. Oh, thank goodness. It's our first time going on a date on a weekend, so I kind of got ahead of myself. <laughs> oh, I see. She's so cute. Cute? Did I just sing that? Would you like to go? Yes. This is our seat. Isn't this a seat for couples? But we're not even... Oh, sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to embarrass you. I just wanted to make it as daylight as possible. Do you not want to sit here with me? Just kidding. I'd love to. Huh? Wait. Really? Y you don't mind? Um, well... <laughs> Yay! Why am I like this today? Miss Amy's just teasing me as always. 
beautiful. It sure is. The images that would be projected onto the ceiling were indeed beautiful. But it felt like a real sky full of stars since she was lying next to me. Since when was I in love with her? And how did I not notice? Oh, that was very soothing. Would you like to go eat now? Um, Miss Amy, I think I'm in... Hey, Seiya? This voice, could it be? The girl who spoke to me was the reason for my trauma, Mocha. Why are you here? What do you mean, why? I just came to have fun. Could that be your girlfriend? I thought a stubborn guy like you would never get one. She's not my girlfriend, and I'm sorry about what happened back then. <laughs> what? I think you've misunderstood something. Do you really think I liked you back then? That's hilarious! What? I just wanted to mess around with you. I was bored since Kito wouldn't confess his love to me already. I didn't think you'd reject me, though. I'm starting to get irritated just thinking about it. Oh yeah, if she isn't your girlfriend, come and hang out with me. I just dumped a guy and now I'm bored. Don't touch me! Let's go of him. Huh? I'm in the middle of a date with Kudo right now, and listening to your conversation. I feel so bad for you. How could a low-level lady like you ever match a kind-hearted soul like him? What did you just say? Who are you, old lady? Let go of me, Mocha, and don't be rude to her! Huh? I have no intention of dating you at all. So don't worry. You'll always be the one in the wrong for thinking that you'd even be a match against Miss Amy. What? Mm, you're so brave, Mr. Kudo. I love that. We have a day to continue with, so goodbye. Don't ever talk to me again. See ya. What? Ugh, I did not expect that. Me too. Is that the girl you were talking about? <laughs> yeah. Thank you for going with the story. No problem. Besides, we are in fact on a date right now, you know. But judging by the way she was talking earlier, she's probably out messing with a bunch of guys too. It'll be alright. Just try talking to him again. I'm sure he'd be willing to make up with you. You'll only know how a person is truly feeling if you talk to them. That's true. Thank you. My guilt towards that girl is nowhere to be found anymore. Thanks to you, Miss Amy. Yay! Doesn't that mean you won't have to lie about having a girlfriend anymore? If you'd like, I can become your girlfriend. I'm always welcome to you. Come on, just date me. I love that. Huh? What? Wait, what, 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 really? Do you not want to? I forgot to tell you, but I've been in love with you for quite a while now. I... I never even imagined you'd say that. I'm glad I was able to tell you how I truly feel. That's cheating! You can't just come out clean like that all of a sudden! You're making me blush! But I love you, so I'll date you, okay? Yes, please! Thank you! She's so adorable. A few days later, I used up all of my might to get myself to talk to Kaida. And it turned out that Mocha was saying total lies about me to him. What? I thought you were the one who confessed your love to her. I didn't want to make things awkward, so I just left you two alone. What? I could never. I can't believe she lied to you about this. I'm sorry. I didn't think you'd be so bothered by me leaving, so I just gave up and left you alone. I'm sorry for not properly saying goodbye. No need to apologize at all. I'm just glad we got things straightened out. Let's meet again sometime soon. I'll introduce you to my girlfriend. Yeah, I'll be looking forward to that. Aren't you going to introduce me? Of course. I'll introduce you to everyone as the best girlfriend in the world. <laughs> <laughs> this girl easily opened up my view of the world for me. I can't take my eyes off of your lively self. It won't be long until she goes from my client to my wife. 
Are you sure you want to stay like this? I'll do anything, just say the word. After all, you saved my life. Uh, that's an exaggeration. That's not true. I'm only here because of you, Masaharu-san. How did this happen? I'm not especially attractive or anything. So why is a stunning beauty standing in front of me asking me out, you say? Well, it all began a few years ago. Come on, come on! My name is Masaharu Fukuda. I'm an underpaid employee at an extremely exploitative company. It's probably the only company in Japan with the words 72 hours a week minimum. This is the 14th day in a row I've had to work overtime. I powered through my work and ran to the station as quickly as possible. But as luck would have it, it had snowed pretty heavily that day. The snow that had piled up while I was working slowed me down enough for me to miss the last train just as it pulled out of the station. No, 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 wait! It's gone. Why did I have to miss the last train in such bad weather? But I don't feel like paying for a taxi either. I guess I'll have to settle for an internet cafe tonight. <sighs> it's cold. I better get to the cafe quickly or I'll catch a cold. A steaming bowl of cup noodles before turning in sounds good too. Uh, excuse me, mister. Huh? Me? Um, can't you spare any small change? I haven't eaten for a while. Please, please! Huh? What's a girl doing in this blizzard? She's thin and worn out. She looks like she might pass out. All right, let's get you something to eat. I'm pretty sure there's a convenience store nearby, so just wait here. Right here, you understand? Under the roof. Uh, okay. Here, take this. I picked something out randomly, so eat anything you like. Uh, are you sure? There's so much! It's fine, it's fine. You must be starving. Eat up! Thank you so much! Oh, it's delicious! Take your time, there's no rush. Still, oh, I didn't ask your name, did I? I'm Anzu Shimabara. I'm Masaharu Fukuda. Nice to meet you. So do you have somewhere to go? Well, you see... I see. Don't worry. Well then, let's get you to a hotel. A hotel? You can't stay out here. You'll freeze. If I remember correctly, there's a business hotel around the corner. You've got to be kidding me! They're all full! The only option left is... What's wrong? As it turns out, all the business hotels are fully booked. And the only place that's still open at this hour is, um... A love hotel. If it's okay with you, that is. Obviously, I wouldn't do anything to you. Ever! It's okay, I understand. Thanks for letting me shower first. Don't worry about it. How are you feeling? I haven't felt this warm to the core for a long time. That's good. So, Anzu, what were you doing in a place like that? If you wouldn't mind telling me. The thing is, I was raised in a single mother household, but my mother passed away several years ago in a traffic accident. After that, my relatives took me in, and I lived with my aunt and uncle for a while. But the living conditions there were far from good. They were up to their knees in debt, and debt collectors were coming to the door day in and day out. In the end, they had almost nothing left, and ended up almost selling me for collateral. So I ran away from home. That must have been hard. That's why I have nowhere to go home to. It's true nothing good awaits you if you try to go home. But you can't keep up this homeless life forever either. I guess there's only one thing for a person in my position to do. Why don't you come and live with me? Huh? I know it's sudden, but... I'd like to help you if I can. Are you sure? Everyone needs a helping hand once in a while, right? Thank you so much! That's how I started to live with a girl for some reason. 
I'm home! Welcome home, Masaharu-san! Dinner is ready! Thanks again! It's the least I can do. Don't say that! You're a lifesaver, Anzu! I'm saving your life, Masaharu-san? That's right! It's thanks to you I've been getting so much work done lately. I only ever ate microwaved meals before. Eating homemade meals is great! I'm glad you like it, Matsuhara-san. Now, let's eat. That night... Masaharu-san, can I sleep here tonight? Again? I don't recommend it. But I still can't sleep when I'm alone. Ah, uh, all right. If that's what you want. Thank you so much. There was just one problem with Anzu living with me. She couldn't sleep by herself. Apparently, she couldn't sleep at all out of anxiety when she was at her relative's house. But as it turns out, she could sleep when it was next to someone else. So it was decided that we would sleep together. As a result, nerves from sleeping next to her have left me a bit sleep deprived. You're so warm, Masaharu-san. This kind of reminds me of when my mother was alive. We weren't well off, so the house was always cold in the winter. So we just cuddle up just like this. Anzu. Thank you for saving me, Masaharu-san. What's gotten into you all of a sudden? I could sleep peacefully without having to worry about being sold off, starving, or freezing to death. If you hadn't stopped to help me then, I wouldn't be here. I... didn't want you to starve, that's all. There aren't many people who can put those thoughts into actions. That's why I'm so grateful to Masaharu-san. I owe you my life, Masaharu-san. I will pay you. Anzu? <sighs> <sighs> she fell asleep. You've already done enough for me, Anzu. My life was nothing but work before, but now it's so much brighter with you in it. I'm the one who owes you my life. Sleep well, Anzu. Sweet dreams. And before I knew it, a month had passed with us living together. But one day... I'm home! Masaharu-san! What's going on? You have a strange look on your face. I think there's something off about your job. Well, that's out of the blue. What's wrong? What's wrong? I've been living with you for a while now, and I noticed. You come home on the last train almost every day, and you hardly ever take a day off. Do you know how many days you've been working without a rest? If you count today, nine days, I think. You think? This is obviously wrong! It is? I've gotten used to it. Your company is exploiting their workers! It's outrageous! You think so too? I thought so too, but I can't seem to break out of it. Are you okay? If you keep pushing yourself like this... It's alright, Anzu. I can take care of myself. Besides, there are people who have it much worse than me. But... Thanks for worrying about me. A week after we had that conversation, Anzu left home, leaving a farewell note. I didn't see this one coming. Thank you for everything, huh? She could have given me a proper farewell, but I guess it's better for her this way. It must have taken her a lot of courage for her to step out on her own. My thoughts will be with her even if we never cross paths again. Good luck, Anzu. Time passed in a blur until it was eight years since I met her. As for me, I'm still at the same exploitative company, working my butt off every day. How many days has it been since I went home? Missing the last train is almost a daily occurrence for me now. Maybe it's time for me to move closer to the office. The days passed, and my mind got fuzzier and fuzzier. I'd broken the record and was on my 21st day without rest. I was at my limit, body and mind. Yet if I broke down, the workload would fall on someone else. 
That thought kept me going until work was all I could think about. The company's gotten even worse than it was a few years ago. I should seriously consider leaving for another job, never mind moving closer to the office. But it's harder than I thought. I've been meaning to quit for a long time, but it's already been eight years. I can't keep going on like this. For now, though, I'll just concentrate on getting home tonight. I need to sleep in a comfortable bed once in a while. That's what I thought, but... I knew it! I knew I should have left work earlier! But I guess I'll use the internet cafe again. Or maybe I should go to a business hotel instead. I've been using the internet cafe to save money until now, but my body can't take it anymore. But I guess I should stick with the cafe after all. There you are! Huh? I found you at last! Whoa! She's stunning! But wait a minute. Who is she? I don't know anyone so beautiful. It's been a while, Masahara-san. Uh... And you are? Don't you recognize me? It's me, Anzu. You saved my life eight years ago. What? Anzu? You've grown so beautiful! I didn't recognize you at first! <laughs> Thanks for the compliment. It's been a while, Masuhara-san. It really has! How have you been? I'm fine! Oh, why don't we go somewhere to chat? We have a lot to catch up on. That's fine, but it's late, so I don't think there's... Then, how about a love hotel? Huh? You don't mind, do you? We can talk there. <laughs> You've grown up, Anzu. Well then, let's go. Sure. Come to think of it, what were you doing there? I was waiting for you, Masaharu-san. You could have just come to my home, you know. I did, but you weren't there. How many times have you gone home this month? Uh... I knew it! You haven't been going home at all, have you? I knew I'd have a better chance of meeting you if I waited at the station instead. <laughs> I'm sorry. Are you still planning on working for that company, Masaharu-san? It's commendable that you work so hard. Not everyone can do that. You're an amazing person to work so hard every day. But you should take better care of your body. If you keep going like this, it will break you physically and mentally. Anzu... Thanks for worrying about me. But it's fine, don't worry. It's true it can be hard sometimes, but... But they need me there. Masaharu-san! So what are you up to these days, Anzu? I worked really hard since then, and now I work at a place called Alice Co. LTD. Alice Co. Limited? You mean that up-and-coming company that made its debut two years ago? That's amazing! It's all thanks to you, Masahara-san. I didn't do anything. I can't believe you work at such a large company. It's all a result of your hard work. Well done. Aren't you thinking of quitting your job, Masuhara-san? Well, I've been too busy to think about it. I don't have the time to look for a new job anyways. Plus, as I said before, they need me. Hmm, I understand. You should get some rest. Don't worry, I'll wake you up tomorrow. That would be great, thank you. We stayed up chatting for a bit, then I fell asleep. The next day, I parted ways with Anzu and headed to the office. Anzu's doing so well with her life. Compared to her, what am I? A staggering workload awaited me as usual. I kept thinking about her as I ground away at my desk. I keep putting off searching for another job and end up making no progress at all. I haven't changed at all. It's kind of pathetic and sad. Uh, I should probably get back to work. A week passed before I knew it and my body was close to breaking down completely. My vision's blurring. I've been staying overnight these days, too. I haven't been getting enough rest. 
This is bad. Hey, are you all right? Uh huh. That voice. I've come to save you, Masahara san. Uh, Anzu? Why are you here? I wanted to repay your kindness. Kindness? Hey, Fukuda! What do you think you're doing? Boss? Stop slacking off and get back to work! You belong in the company. You don't get to rest until we say so. Now move! There's still work to- Is that any way to treat an injured person? What? Who do you think you- Wait, you're- What a wonderful company! You care more about your work than you do your employees. I understand how you feel, but shouldn't you worry about him first? Why are you here? Can't I pay a visit to my own company? What's he talking about, Anzu? W watch your words, Fukuda! That's the CEO of Alice Co. Limited! What? You are? You bought the company? I realized that nothing was going to make you quit your job, so I bought it instead. I did a little research, and as it turns out, the employees here are all highly qualified even compared to other companies. But this company exploited your senses of responsibility to use you like slaves. It's all because of this company's working status. So I thought I'd help not only you, but everyone else as well as buying the whole company. Besides, I needed more workers for a new business venture anyway. You're amazing, Anzu! <laughs> I told you I'd pay you back. Well then, there's going to be a few changes around here from now on. Better working conditions, the sacking of the entire upper management for threatening their workers poorly, and more. I'm going to cleanse this company from top to bottom. May I ask what will be happening to me? You treated people as pawns that could be cast aside whenever you wanted. That means you are prepared to be cast aside in your turn, right? That's... Well then, Masaharu-san, let's get you home for the moment. You don't mind if I do that, do you? N not at all. Oh, and make sure everyone goes home on time today. Don't make them work overtime, or else... I... I understand. Come on, Masahara-san. I'm sorry you had to see such a pathetic side of me, Anzu. You're not pathetic at all. Nobody should be commended for working so hard they passed out from exhaustion. But your dedication for your work should. Anzu... I like you, Masahara-san. I liked you ever since we met eight years ago. Will you let me pay you back if it takes me the rest of my life to do it? I want to stay by your side forever and ever. I couldn't refuse you, after all you've done for me. If you'll take me, I'd like to be with you too. Of course I'll take you. You're the only one for me. I like you a lot, Masahari-san. I like you too, Anzu. And that's how we became a couple. Since then, my company became much more ethical thanks to Anzu's reformation. All the workers thanked her for her actions. Our work efficiency grew tenfold, and Anzu's company along with it. By the way, the upper management were all fired without exception for their uncaring attitude to their workers. And a few years later... I've been waiting for this day for such a long time. Me too, Anzu. Masahara-san, I'll be at your side forever and ever. I love you. I'll be at your side forever too. I love you. Thank you for watching. How was today's video? Please check out our other videos as well.